Well, it's Christmas time and I had to dig out my best, ugliest sweater for this one. So here we are, Christmas Eve. Everybody has made their wish list. Hopefully, uh, everybody's got their car in the shop, torn apart. I'm sure motors are out, transmissions are out, converters are out, all that important stuff, make more power, freshen everything up. But your car's sitting over in the corner with its own wish list. So I get on everybody every year about this, but a lot of people just kind of forget about where they're at, what's going on. There's more than just, you know, engine transmission to be addressed, third member, all that. Those are the things that we always come to mind, but we forget about a lot of the other maintenance items that everybody needs to look at. So um, I guess to kind of start at the front, these things ride down the highway with us all year long and they just take a beating. Uh, no matter how good you strap them, what air bladders you put underneath the back, they're still just getting beat up going down the road. If somebody had to ride in the back of one of these trailers going down the road, unless it's a big air ride, 53 foot semi or something, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty harsh. I know my trailer's ride's pretty decent for what it is, but it's, it's not an air ride and uh, you put something in the back of the trailer, it's, it, it's rough. So with that being said, I just got these back from Kinetic Engineering, Chris Bell over there, got my struts back. I had one that was pretty beat up and guaranteed it didn't get beat up from going down the racetrack. So got these back from him. Um, shocks and struts, I try and get everybody to send them in at least every two years, if not every year. Uh, if there's nothing wrong with them, they can check them, dyno them, uh, no matter whether you send them to Strange, AFCO, um, kinetic, whoever your flavor is, then get them in, get them checked. If there's nothing wrong, it won't be much and, and you know they're good for another year. If there is something wrong, then you're going to take care of it because what happens is, is you'll freshen everything up, you'll put the car back together, you'll go out, make it more power, it's in the spring, uh, everything's good, track's good, you know, more power and all of a sudden you've got a car issue and you've overlooked the shock, the strut, the numerous other things we're going to look at too. So get them off, get them sent in, uh, spend some money on them, show them some love, give them a little Christmas present. Um, while we're on the, the shock strut issue, um, here we go with bearing stuff. Once again, you take all this stuff apart, well, you've got bearings in the adjustable strut cups, um, spherical bearings basically. Um, they're in the lower control arms. They're, they're up here in the top of the adjustable strut cups if you've got them. Um, take a look at those, make sure that they're not getting all beat up. You can turn these things sideways, you can move them. If there's much movement in them, they need to be replaced. Um, Heim's in the end of the control arms. Um, you know, this is a four link Heim, but same thing. Take a look at all that stuff and if it needs, if they're getting loose, then replace the darn things. I mean, once again, we, we go out and we, we stress on motors and trannies and, and everything else, but the suspension is what makes the actual car work. So you really need to take a good look at that stuff. While you've got everything off, it's a good time just to, you know, repack the wheel bearings, um, check all that, make sure all that's good. When, while all that's apart, you need to look at all your brake pad stuff. Make sure that the pads aren't worn. The, they need replaced. Take a look at the rotors. Make sure all the bolts are tight. Just check everything over because we get in the habit of just going and race, 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 and week in, week out. And not everybody's got a big crew, including me. So just trying to keep up with the maintenance on this stuff is is really crucial. So take a look at all your brake stuff. Take the rears apart. You know, look at the look at the pads. If you've got um, if you've got a caliper seeping a little bit, now's the time to to you know put some new. O-rings in the calipers and the pistons, um, change brake pads, just get everything freshened up there and make sure you're in good shape. As you go on back, well, while we're in the front stuff, um, take a look, same thing, take a look at all your rack stuff. I mean, there's uh, bearings out here on the end of your rack, they're under your rack boots. Um, push and pull those things, make sure that they're not getting loose. The other thing that these, these racks are, are known for some of the guys have stiletto stuff. Some of them have got different things, but the, these old, a lot of cars still have these 
panel racks on them. Well, there's a bushing in the end of these things, and I've seen numerous ones over the years. This one's completely gone, but they get beat out. And so then when that happens, this thing can move up and down. The toe in change, the bump changes, um, makes for a dangerous driving race car. So just take a look at all that stuff, and, and if you find anything, you know, let's get it replaced now instead of in between races or at the racetrack. Um, check all the himes in your wishbone. <clears throat> um, make sure the slide in the wishbone is it operates smoothly. It doesn't have a lot of slop in it. Look at everything four link bracket wise for cracks. Look at the X in the middle of the car. Uh, those things are known for cracking around the bottom of the four link brackets and then in the X in the center. Uh, if you've got a big tire in the car and shake that thing a lot, uh, just be aware of Look for anywhere where there's an intersection of tubing and or suspension components and really look for cracks and things of that nature to, to make sure that there's nothing wrong. Same thing with the four link himes. Um, take everything apart, clean it all up, take them out one by one, just clean the things up, uh, make sure that they're not loose. If they're getting loose, then you know let's replace them get, them, get them fixed. Also goes, Another thing too that probably most people don't think about, uh, need to take a look at the anti-roll bar. Some of these, this Mark Williams unit has Delrin bushings in them. Uh, they actually wear out. Uh, they start getting loose. Then this, then this where it mounts to the chassis up here, then the bar moves up and down. Well, you don't want that. Then you've got himes in the end of these where the links go down to the rear end housing. These himes can get beat up. They take a lot of load from side to side as this thing makes runs, shakes the tires, all that. So all these little things you just need to take a good look at and see. Onto the belts and the window net. We all know that two years and everything needs to be replaced on that. So uh, take a look at all that stuff and see. Uh, look at your linkage stuff, throttle linkage, brake pedal linkage. Uh, just take a wrench, start at the front of the car, go to the back, put a wrench on everything, uh, whether it be brake line fittings, uh, master cylinder, just everything that's got a bolt on it needs to be checked, addressed, wiped off, clean, looked at, so that when we start racing in the spring that we're not having any issues. Uh, also, you probably got the third member out. Most of the guys have floaters, um, even the guys that don't. You know, there's bearings in here. These things need to be addressed. I mean, they once again, you're shaking the tires. You're just beating the snot out of the bearings in, in here at the, at the spindles. Or even if it's a flange housing, uh, take a good look at the bearings on the end of the axles while you've got it apart because they get loose. They get beat up. I've seen those bearings break over the years. Um, shock bearings, same thing. They're a spherical bearing here in the, in, in the shock. Take a look at those. Same deal, all this tire shake just, just destroys parts. So just look at everything on the car. Um, once again, a lot of the stuff that we just don't think about. Uh, the other thing that a guy really needs to do too is take a look at all your battery hold downs, um, on off switch, just all the connections, all the cables, the wiring, anything that, that has a fastener on it basically needs to be addressed. So because over the years, over the, over the races, everything can loosen up, uh, wire can start chafing, just, just once again, just instead of taking the engine transmission out, sending it off to get freshened up, you know, leave the car in the middle of the shop and just get after everything and uh, make sure you fulfill the wish list for your car this winter. So that's very, really all I got today. It's Christmas Eve, we're, we're doing a couple of videos today, but uh, anyhow, enjoy the sweater and uh, Hope you guys have a good Christmas, good holidays, and uh, we'll probably see you in the new year.